Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome. I am Michelle and I just usually rant about my personal experience as a loan signing agent. So welcome to the channel. Today's video is uh, one that was requested by a few of the subscribers. <clears throat> and I appreciate you guys for the request. I so appreciate you guys so much for even subscribing liking and watching the video so thank you so 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 much trust me it it really means a lot <clears throat> excuse me so today's video is what's in my notary bag yep what does michelle carry in her notary bag what does her notary bag even look like all right so do you think it's a cute fancy um girly girl bag because you know some people say i'm bougie <laughs> Do you think it's just like a regular old briefcase? <clears throat> Backpack. If you had to guess before you see it, what would it be? Comment below and let me know. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to see my bag? And then I can show you what's in it. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, guys. It's a backpack. It's a backpack. This is my bag. All right, so in no particular order, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what's in my bag, okay? No particular order. <clears throat> Tums, because I get heartburn. <clears throat> Nothing worse than being at a closing and you get heartburn. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I get dry throat too. That's why I have those Jolly Ranchers in my car. I need one now. Chapstick. Why do I carry chapstick in my bag? Because my lips, no, well, they do, but... Usually what I do, if I'm in a house and it smells or has an aroma that's not as pleasing to my nose, I just take this and then I just sniff the strawberry instead of <clears throat> whatever else I was smelling before I started using this. <clears throat> CarMax works better. I don't have any. I use it up. But my next trip to the store, I'm going to get that because it works better because the smell is a little bit stronger. And so you're smelling the Carmax and not the dog poop that, <clears throat> yeah, that. All right. Fingertip moistener. <clears throat> and that way you're not, um, you're not uh, licking your fingers, right? When you're trying to turn the pages. <clears throat> Rubber gloves. I don't always wear gloves, <clears throat> excuse me, but if I go into somebody's house and yeah, if I need to wear these, I'm putting these bad boys on. I'm pulling those out and putting those on. Rubber fingertip, <clears throat> help me turn the pages. I don't know why, it doesn't really even work for me. I don't even use it really. It's there just in case. Lysol. I spray this bag down when I come home. I spray my pens. I spray everything that they could have possibly touched. <laughs> yeah, so keep you some Lysol. <clears throat> flags. I just keep extra flags. I'm, I've never had to use them out in the signing, but just in case you never know, I just went ahead and um, I just leave them in there. All right. So that's all in that one. <clears throat> We're gonna go to that middle one. See what's in here. <clears throat> stapler. You have to have a stapler because if they have cash to close or they're giving you a voided check or something that you have to attach, or even like with your loose leaf certificates, you wanna be able to staple those. And then my backup staples. <clears throat> Wet ones. Wipe your hands of antibacterial wipes. I have a couple clips in here. Um, they're in here because um, sometimes when I have docs, um, I'll put these on the docs, the customer's docs, but then I'll make sure. Some, sometimes I'll leave these, but most of the time I take the big ones back because I can get the small ones at the dollar store, but these cost me money. So <clears throat> I keep those. Hand sanitizer, which I'm gonna put some on now because I've just been coughing into my hand. <sighs> you can also use this for, like if you walk in somebody's house and it stinks, I hate to say it like that, but. <sighs> I 
I don't advise you sniffing hand sanitizer because that's a thing. People do that. I had a girl that I used to work with that did that. <clears throat> All right. My PayPal, my money. If I make a sign in and after we finish, you know, that and they say, hey, by the way, you're a notary. I need some um, documents um, notarized. Can you notarize them for me? Sure. Oh, I have this and I have my square. This fits on into the phone. This one, I can just hook up Bluetooth to my phone. <clears throat> get your money, girls, guys, get your money. If they want you to notarize something, you can do it for free. But remember that you're running a business and if they want you to notarize, you don't have to charge them the trip fee, but charge them per stamp. Get your money while you're there. All right, another thing. Ooh. Business card. Always have your business cards, okay? Because um, always give your business card out because you never know what kind of business you can, you know, get in the future. Um, I've known people who say, hey, I know somebody who works for a title company and, you know, you, you did such a great job. Let me recommend you. Here's my card. Thank you. Or I may need something notarized or I know somebody that needs something notarized or you never know. Leave them a card, okay? <clears throat> Anything else in here? No. All right, on to the next one. More antibacterial wipes. You might have to wipe down the surface because some people don't clean. They know you coming. They have like three day notice. They know you coming and they do not clean. So sometimes you just have to take it upon yourself to clean the area in which you will be working, okay? So have your wipes. Probably need to put some paper towel in here too to dry the area because they may not even have that. Mace. Ladies, we have to protect ourselves. You never know what situation may occur, but my husband told me I have to carry the mace or I can't do this job. So, okay. The money maker. Yeah, sometimes I stick flags on there if I'm using them. Been on there a while, but this is my stamp. <clears throat> Shoe covers. I always carry shoe covers because you never know um, when somebody um, may request that you not wear their, your shoes in their home, or they may say you can use your shoe covers over your shoes. Um, but you know, certain religions, you can't wear your shoes in their home, it's sacred. So you will have to take off your shoes. You know, that's just respecting their, you know, their culture, right? And so you're not gonna take your shoes off and miss out on your $100 for the signing, or you're gonna put on the shoe covers have the shoe covers. I bought like, it's like 12 of these for a dollar at the dollar store. So <clears throat> yeah. Bam, pinions. I purchased this right here last year sometime for 25 cents. I bought like four. I don't even know why I did four. Maybe when I start doing my giveaways, I'll give away one um, <clears throat> to to the a lucky subscriber. But anyway, this is where I keep my, and this house my, um, my pins, so. And I have that marker, that highlighter in there is for me. It's not to highlight anybody's documents. That's just for me, okay? When I'm highlighting my notary instructions and it's something that I don't want to miss, I use the highlighter. Oh, put that there. All right. <clears throat> Another thing when I go, I have my mask. This one says I'm vaccinated. This one says this too shall pass. So I always have a mask or two with me um you know and nowadays people say well you you don't have to wear your mask i don't believe in that that's even more reason why i'm wearing my mask if you don't believe in it you don't have your vaccine and i'm gonna protect myself right because if you don't care about me i i care about me so i'm gonna wear my mask <clears throat> all right so when i go into the home i put my wallet and my keys um in there i, I put these in my um in my bag because I'll leave my purse in the car, but I'll put my wallet and my keys in my bag. So if somebody breaks the window, take the steal or steal the car, they don't have my keys and they don't have my wallet. They have my purse, which I'd be sad about. But at least I got my wallet, all my credit cards, my ID, everything I need is gonna be in my bag. And if somebody mess with me, I'm gonna make sure. Okay. All right. Going on to the big part. So I have my acknowledgements, my um, 
loose leaf acknowledgements for Tennessee. I have a closing later today, so I already have my packet in here um, for later. And my journal. This is my baby, the Integrity Notary Journal. I've turned to a page here. So if you see, it has like all the documents listed instead of handwriting one by one. You just check, 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 signer, signer, acknowledgements, address. You have them signed here. I'll leave, um, I'll leave my um, affiliate link so you can get one. It's the same price, whether you use my link or not, you know, whatever. And then last but not least in my um, notary bag is this. <clears throat> This is my credentials. In here, I have my notary certificate, my W-9, my insurance, my ENO insurance, my bond, my background check from um, the NNA, I have a copy of my driver's license, quad. Oh, oh I, I'll tell you why. And then um, <clears throat> I used to have like this required notarized documents. Um, it's just a cheat sheet for me or whatever. But let me tell you why I carry this in here. So if somebody wants to see my credentials, I have them. But another thing, if I'm out and about and say somebody says, you know, you're signing for somebody that owns a title company or that's a escrow officer or something, and they say, you, you know, I, I'm impressed with your work. You have a car. Yes, I have a car. And if you want to work with me, here's my, here, you can have this whole folder. <laughs> you can take my credentials with you and, you know, give me your car. Let's, let's meet on Monday. Like you ready, like stay ready. Okay. But you know, if somebody asks, at least you'll have, you know, your notary certificate, you can prove that you are a notary. You have your credentials here. You have your liability insurance. I've seen where some companies want you to write your E&O insurance down on the documents, right? We can always, e you know, it's in our email, right? But, you know, too, you never know. What if you're somewhere you can't get phone service? Have your folder. But that, guys, that's it. That's what's in my notary bag. Um, nothing fancy. Um, I don't know. Is there anything that I'm missing out of my notary bag that you, what, what are you putting in your notary bag that I don't have in mind? But the kitchen sink. <laughs> I think I have everything in this bag. Um, I can't think of anything that I'm missing. My journal, my stamp, pens. My clipboard is in the car. I have a clipboard. You guys know I have my printer, my scanner, all that stuff is in the car. Paper, pens, spray. Yep, that's about it. These are some of the main things. So this is really what you need to um, take with you on your signings. You may not use everything all the time, but it's better to have it and, and not need it than need it and not have it. All right. So that's what's in my notary bag. And I hope it was helpful. Um, you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to please subscribe. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe and like the video. All right, guys, have a great day. And thanks for um, watching what's in my my notary bag. All right, guys. Bye.